with Tom, commiserations. I'm sure it's a really subdued atmosphere in the dressing room tonight. Yeah, it's, there, was, uh, there are a load of disappointed faces. Um, we came here with an unbeaten in four. Um, spirits were high. We were confident going into the game. We felt we had more than enough to, to compete with them and uh, go on and get the win, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. They started pretty quick. Birmingham got a goal in front and that kind of, they, for the first sort of half hour or so, they kind of like, they really they kind of made it really quite difficult for us. Yeah, they were, they were a very aggressive team. Um, I think you could see that in the first half with the uh, number of second balls that they were competing with, um, competing with aggression, with, um, with that warrior spirit, which uh, the manager wants us to play with. Um, I think, I think we, we, we rode that. Um, yes, we conceded the goal. Um, but we rode that period well, and then we got the goal back. And I think that I thought, I thought as a team, we thought it was there for the taking. Um, unfortunately, it was a bit of a sucker blow in the, sec the second half. Um, but but that's football. Uh, we've we've, we're, we've been unbeaten in four, um, and you've seen, I think everyone, it's clear to see that this team's got bounce back ability. Uh, and it's that's the beauty of the championship. We've got a quick turnaround. We've got a game on Saturday, and I think we've got to recover. Our wounded soldiers and, and get everyone back fit, raring, uh, and raring to go because there's no there's no time to uh, no time for heads to hang, um, and I'm sure that's that's what the gaffer and the staff that's what they've been good with they've been good with us all season um, with, with picking up our spirits even in, in defeat they've been they approach victory and defeat um, with the same same mindset and the same enthusiasm and that's that's something that as a team we really need to take on Saturday. I mean, John, that game, you mentioned that. The sucker punch as well because I think you know at that point it felt like the momentum was with us like we were sort of putting that little bit of pressure on and stuff and that's a cruel blow I know we can, there's a lot of things to pick out of the game but got you know as you said that's football right it can really really bite you in the backside sometimes yeah and it was uh, it was a set piece which is uh, which is something that's it's not been very common this season it's, it's a rarity um, and it's, it's very it's a very frustrating one because the game was opening up second half we felt like we were getting getting the players that we wanted on the ball, on the ball, um, getting into good areas. We were suffocating them in their half. Um, but it's, as you said, it's, it's football. And uh, as I said again, as I said previously, we, we, have, we have time to, we have a quick turnaround and, and uh, we make sure we're, we're in the right frame of mind to go in for Saturday. And as you touched on as well, you know, we've put ourselves in such a good position, you know, with, with nine games left, you know, we, we, we've deserve to be where we are, we've racked, we've battled for every single of those 60, 61 points we've got so far. It's about converting that into, into you know, after 46 games now, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, uh, it's no good getting, getting to nine games left and then, and then relaxing and easing off and, and looking back on the season and thinking what season we've had, this is, this is crunch time. Um, unfortunately, we, we do have, we have players coming back. Um, that's, that's been something that's been unfortunate all season. We've had big players in big positions. Uh, fall out injured but people have stepped in and, and we've stepped in well and and uh, it'll be good to go into these after the international break we'll have everyone back everyone rearing everyone competing and uh, and I, I can tell you for sure that, that everyone's everyone's fully focused um, couldn't ask for a better management team to, to lead us into those those final eight games after the after the international break um, and we're ready and most importantly is that first one before the international break QPR they had a good result tonight and stuff and you know, as you said there, bounce back as quick as possible. Next opportunity, go and get those three points. Yeah, the last time we played, we played QPR, we scored a last minute winner. So we're looking for more of that, but that just, that just shows uh, we've, got that, we've got that in us when we're, when we're chasing there. We do believe, um, wasn't quite, wasn't to be tonight, but uh, we've, we're, we're looking forward to Saturday. Um, we know they're a strong outfit. They like to play. Um, but we feel like we can, like can we can play that to our advantage. Yeah, and lastly, Tom, that's the point you know, you've touched on it already as well. Lick, lick your wounds and, and and just get back out there because there's no better tonic to a disappointing night than than, than going out and, and and playing again and and showing what you're about and giving the best account you can. Yeah, it's just let the football do the talking. That's all we can focus on.